Let's go. We see the hype outside. Right from the house. Took it straight from. Hello everyone and welcome. Lately it's been sad days and well if you don't know about what's going on, well let me tell you what's going on. Ubisoft has sued Google and Apple for distributing Area F2, game which Ubisoft claims to be a carbon copy or in other words a ripoff of Rainbow Six Siege. I have been receiving a lot of hate comments on me playing this game for the past few days and personally I don't really even care about this but I do think that is pretty silly that these players are coming at me, a content creator for making videos playing a game that I thoroughly enjoy. Me playing this game doesn't mean that I condone copying other people's work and making it my own. It simply means that I enjoy playing and making content about this game, which isn't hard to understand. I don't understand why anyone feels entitled enough to talk smack about this game in the way they do. Sure, mechanics and a lot of things in this game resemble things in Rainbow Six Siege, but last time I checked, you couldn't copyright mechanics, my friend. Another thing I'm not understanding is why won't Ubisoft just release a mobile version of Rainbow Six Siege? I'm pretty sure it would do better than this game, and it's not even about that, right? They're just worried about not making money off of what they view as a carbon copy of Rainbow Six Siege, and this honestly hurts to see. Partnering up and co collaborating with the makers of Area F2 would just seem like a less scandalous and just overall smarter approach instead of trying to delete something that provides not only fun and content for people, but a place in which people connect and de-stress themselves. Because at the end of the day, that's really what video games are about. Now, of course, the worst thing that could happen at the moment is that the game gets removed from the Google Play Store and the App Store, but the game is definitely not getting deleted. What would happen in that situation would be that you'd have to download the game and its updates via a third-party app store like APK Pure or even Aptoid, which are pretty popular third-party app stores. So for everyone chanting about this game getting deleted, worry less because it will not. Not anytime soon at least. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the leaks. Uh, well, there's basically two skins coming soon. Uh, I do hope soon, of course, it's not actually confirmed. But there is a Swamp skin and a Hawkeye skin. Uh, Sandstorm Swamp, and it looks like a Spaceman or something like that. Like he flies uh, a jet or something. And then a Purple Leader set, which is an all-purple skin for Hawkeye. It looks really weird, kind of reminds me of Barney. There's new charms coming. Pizza Charm, Burger Charm, Baguette Charm, Shark Charm. So you can put on your weapons. Here's the interesting thing. There's a new map coming soon. And this is crazy because the map seems to be four stories. Okay, so what does that mean? So it might actually be a five story map if there actually is a basement in the map, making it the new biggest map. And that would be straight up insane. It just gives you, you know, an opportunity to have a whole different play style. See, that's really interesting in my opinion, but hey, we're gonna see when it comes out. Anyways guys, see you on the next video and peace out. Until the next one.